Hey, Shane Penley here with Outsweet Marketing. I am here today with Paul Locatelli, Brian D. Diego, and uh, we just got done shooting some videos, right? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. How'd it go today? It went well. It went really well. I was ab lib as usual, just go off the cuff. Of course, he has to freaking have everything perfectly <laughs> monikered. Has to read from the teleprompter. Well, just just to you know, just to say, really, the man well, here yeah. killed it. Absolutely did an amazing job. Yeah, well written. We'll first took care of it, but you also did an amazing job. We'll, as well. see how so that looks when it two, comes out. Two different styles. It's all about the producer. But it was really cool. So so I, again, I, I appreciate. I just you. want to add. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, some some of us. <laughs> When we came out of high school, we went to work and we didn't start uh, uh, moving go. into an international underwear supermodel. So, like Mr. Locatelli did. So, some probably, of us probably went because right we couldn't. Right? <laughs> <That's a fact. laughs> so, more power to us. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, so here, here's the thing. You guys wrapped up. Seriously, you guys yeah. did an amazing job today. But um, give me a little background on, um, on, your, on your history and what, what you guys have done and, and, how, yeah. and, and where you guys are going. <sighs> So what, how we, okay, he's gonna take his jacket off because he gets a little hot and sweaty. <laughs> Especially on the forehead. <laughs> Hopefully he has powder. Uh, uh, how we met, we met with like an old company that he was the top dog at and he kind of took me under his wing and showed me the ropes and helped me out. And I had the bright idea because he was just straight. He, he, knew, he knew his job. He did his job very well. He didn't want to get out of his lane. I kind of pushed him out of his lane because I'm more of the entrepreneur. Back yeah. then, he was more of like, I gotta sell houses and that's it. I go, no, you gotta do something else. You gotta try, your, let's try our own real estate company. He goes, oh, okay, who are we gonna get? So we had two other partners, him, myself, and two other guys. And we started a real estate company here in town. You know, it was different than everybody else at the time. It was mm -hmm. different from what we had. We've had lending, we had commercial, we had property management, we had investments, and we did real estate sales. That went very, very well until we got in a couple huge deals. I'll let him speak a couple of deals uh, that we did. I can say we made a million dollars in one year and we lost a million dollars in one year. Yeah. And we... Or two. Mm, yeah, maybe two. Lost. Not on the win side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. Humbling. Yeah. <laughs> so, so probably more than that if you want to count some other stuff. But we... we it was a good learning experience, but once things started happening and we were doing so well, we were on top of the world. And of course, 08, actually not 08, 09 happened and mm. we saw what happened. The whole market went oh, yeah. down to toast. We had some bad investments, we had some bad deals, and we literally got into a bunch of lawsuits. It wasn't our fault, it wasn't the people's fault, it was what happened in the world. The market went under, the bank that gave us the loan that said, hey, you guys can take this, we'll sure. help you out. Yeah. We went back to them, but Which hey. during that time, a lot of people went through a lot oh, of everybody things. Did. You were moving things around, shifting things around, the trying bank to figure out what under. you were gonna do. The $11 million dollar bank. Got out of the business, and now we're back yeah. in it, and yeah. you know, so a lot of that. So, so, got, remember, we got pictures sent of the IRS coming in, or the feds, and closing the feds. down the bank. And that's oh. where our loans were, we're like, Oh, this so good. we couldn't do yeah, anything yeah. about it. So we're like, what do we do? So we kept on trying, trying. And in the meantime, our company was still, we were surviving. As a real estate company, we're surviving. Mm -hmm. But as, as investment wise, we're, we're, we probably were too far out there at the time. We got out of our comfort zone and that what hit us in the ass, so right. to say. So it was 2009, 2010. Yeah, that's right about, that time. about that time. And, and we went through some times that uh, I wouldn't wish on anybody. Mm -hmm. And I, we, went, we went through a time where we had a lawyer, or not lawyer, we had lots of lawyers. We had a guy suing us just because he thought we said something, we actually did it. So in the meantime, that was 2011, I said, Brian, I'm not your partner anymore. I'm getting out of this business and, and our company so we were, we he was not happy about with that. Well, let me ask him. So Brian, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, yeah, it, it went down. Basically, he's landing the scenarios on there. It was, and and I'll never forget sitting across Seabright Beach. Him and I were on two opposite sides of the pole, and he's basically like, "We're going through a divorce," and I was confused because I am an individual who can compartmentalize things, yeah. and I'm like, "Yeah, we're." You know, I'll never forget, like, hey, I was, uh, my wife at the time, yes, this also caused a divorce, was part right. of a divorce for me, 
yeah. going through, but my wife time was... Uh, so it's not just the business, I mean, no. friendship, it was, it was relationship, everything. it was every, everything. everything we, did, everything we did everything down. We did so much together. We did everything yeah. together. I mean, you'd see us together, we have fun together, we're, yeah. we're always excited, everything we do. Uh-huh. And, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of how it went down. And for me, in my brain, it was hard because our company was doing very well. You know, we went from just a couple agents to, oh, here's another company. And then all of a sudden, here's a top 10 company. Here's a top six company. Yeah. We're striving on our competition and our agents were crushing it. And all of a sudden it went, goodbye. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Just like that. In a yeah, it went night. bye-bye that quick. So what'd you do? I mean, so you had this, you're in this place, things are falling apart. You go through this uh, relationship, bromance, divorce, based yeah. upon your, you know, what you guys have going, I mean. At that point, my wife said, pick somebody. So I said, because she was ready to leave me because of all the deals we got into. So of course I picked her over him, but even though him and I spend more time together on trips and flying around and doing stuff than with my wife at the time. Yeah. I mean, we had young kids at the time, so it was a lot of pressure and stress on my life. I literally had to move out of my house, rent my house and go live with my in-laws. Yeah. Because of how bad it was. I, I lost a lot of property and, you know, started from, our old partner said from hero yeah. to zero and it was definitely down at zero and I'll never forget closing my blinds and was depressed. Yeah. And then my dad said, you need to come out of it, son. You know, so I went out and started, started selling. Um, and I was very angry at mm-hmm. this guy. Um, I, I can't even tell you how mad I was. Um, we, we sat there with our attorney and I actually thought we were gonna end up in a fight. I never thought we'd speak again. Yeah. And I just was in the mindset of, okay, I, I, we, we all lost a lot. All yeah. of us during that time lost a lot. And um, so I went through and all of a sudden, I'll never forget, that phone number came across. 7509795. Did you, did, you, did you answer, say, did you bond down with me? I was just like, <laughs> I was honestly, I was like, I wasn't even gonna answer. And I, yeah. pick, I, I pick up the phone and it was just kind of like, I don't know, quiet. It was quiet. And mm-hmm. I always miss this guy. He's yeah. amazing, right? He's an okay. amazing person. He's an amazing father. I've seen all different aspects of Paul. And so I, I picked the phone up and we just talked and it, it kind of brought me back. It brought in some anger, but it brought in some yeah. happiness too because of all the things we accomplished. We we were dominant in this county. Sure. Together. Well, yeah, it sounds like 100%. It's totally but you, but, okay, so um, are you with a certain company now? Are you with an old company? So you, I went, I had... Great question. I actually, right after our split, I had a couple major companies ask me to come work with them and actually provide me some ownership. He thought so. And so, have it all. I actually met with a few Uh and my father said, look, you're going through a tremendous time in your life right now. You guys are being sued. You're going through a divorce. You've lost a lot of your assets. And he goes, you need to just slow down and and be a father. I had two two girls Mm -hmm. and I said, okay. So I finally got my priorities in order. Long story short, he's like, look, you know, we had something dynamic. I miss you. And I miss Paul. I mean, there was no doubt about it. And he's like, I don't know what any of this means, but we need to meet. Sure. And I'm like, okay. And so we set a date and we met up at his ranch many, many miles away. So I'm like, this is a setup. This is going to be a very easy <laughs> right? right? No, right? no. <laughs> I mean, you never know what this guy knows. <laughs> so um, I know him. <laughs> so we went, up there so and happen. we went up there and there was a lot of things exchanged, which I, I won't share that was personal between yeah. us, mm-hmm. but a lot of things were exchanged between us. And I was crushed and hurt. Uh, my ego was, was, was checked big time with him. Yeah. And we both had to go away. But I will tell you, we kept meeting up at the ranch mm-hmm. and then we started opening our homes up to each other again and meeting it was just him and I yeah um, what we knew is we had something special we knew that we could provide a lot to a lot of people in this county yeah and we were stronger together than we were separate yeah you know because I did miss him he did miss me on and we do work really strong to the yin and yang thing oh, he's yeah. very good about the numbers he this I'm more touchy-feely how mm-hmm. are you feeling what's going on yeah and, and but we didn't know what to do. Then EXP came along to us, and we're like, "This might be a good opportunity where we just slowly kind of merge together." Yeah. But we didn't know how it looked or what it was going to feel like. So I said in 2008 or 2000, yeah, 18. I said, "Brian, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go to EXP. I think you should join. Let's slowly kind of you know merge together a little bit. And, you know, yeah. it, it won't look like we're coming together all of a sudden. It's just a slow process." Mm-hmm. And we did. So I left in June of 2018. He left a month later. 
So we just kind of slowly like, hey, you're both with the EXP now. Great. It's one of the best companies, like I told people, ever. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and we do a lot of business with, yeah, yeah. with EXP and, and selling a lot about it. People ask what you guys are doing. Yeah. And so here we are, 2018. <clears throat> you have now you joined EXP. Yep. Uh, and now, how, did you? was it easy for you to jump on board with EXP? Were you all in? <clears throat> Not at the beginning, because I didn't know much about the company. Uh -huh. um, we spent, uh, you know, back a little bit, we spent a little bit of time and we went and met with the upper levels and entourage of EXP. And people mm -hmm. we respect, they owned and sold Keller Williams offices in the Silicon Valley to be a part of this company. Yeah. That right there in a very profitable real estate market got my attention. Why would you guys sell something that's supporting your families to go into this company we've never heard of? Yeah. So that got my attention right away. After meeting with them, I was becoming sold because I've never ever in my 27 years seen anything like this company before yeah so yeah I, I got excited and after lots of meetings I got really excited because I'm we're a part of a movement right now and oh, I'm yeah. super excited to be a part of this yeah I mean EXP is on the cutting like the cutting edge they're moving faster than any other real estate company that's in the United States mm -hmm. they're in Canada now they're in Australia now I mean what so there's yeah, but even hearing you like going through some of the video and you were talking about some of the stuff that you had to take care of before and now what exp is bringing to the table like the insurance so, side of it yeah so the amount of money you were paying on insurance and now what you're paying now because of the benefits of a company that's a real yeah. estate company like exp that's like yeah this is crazy no this this real estate company is giving me insurance gives me stock and it gives me the ability to help other agents it's about the agents so this yeah. company is about the agents it's not about the brokerage it's not hey look at me i'm the broker of the company yeah. It's about you, the agent, helping your clients. And they have every single tool to help you as an agent to, to better yourself. They have more training programs online than anything else. Well then, so now you guys are back together, full-fledged, building a team, building your company. What's going on with that? So we're, it's, it's been fun, because we, we have some we have some positive experiences, and obviously we're gonna look in the rearview mirror and learn, learn from a lot of those, some of the mistakes we've made. But the one thing I wanted to point out, and I know you'll remember as soon as I click here, but I just want to say EXP was so innovative and collaborative, it, I, it's blown my mind. Yeah, I grew up, I love this town, I love all the brokers that I've worked for before, because they're all really great people. Mm -hmm. um, but it's always been about, okay, let's let's keep it within the house. And, and EXP is like, no, you have to share. You have to share with everybody. And I, I love that. Um, because the one thing, I don't know if you remember, but we sat there and I go, before this was all gonna happen, because you, we both were kind of still filling each other out. I go, what, we both came up with the word legacy. We go, we wanna, we oh, wanna yeah, leave a that. legacy and we wanna help agents kick ass in this county. And I've always said, as long as we wake up, we're always gonna do pretty well in this business. We work very hard and we got a really good clientele, but now it's continuing to service our clientele yeah. through more opportunities, more innovation, but the agents for us, we're like, look, we have this great opportunity now to show these agents and actually change their lives. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's changing my life. I We live in the Silicon Valley. Most people that come in to buy a home, they have all these stock options. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what that's like. <laughs> yeah. And that really is what got me. I'm like, what do you mean? They're gonna give me stock for doing what I do and I can buy it at a discount? Tell me more. And yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I've already, yeah. for my family and our future, and where I feel this company is going to be in about three to five years. Mm -hmm. I mean, the stock's already going up quite a bit, which is great. I'm in it for the long haul. Congratulations on everything you're doing. Thank I you. think what Thanks. you're doing is amazing. Uh, other, Eric and I have talked about just like the synergy, what's happening here uh, is absolutely fantastic. So if you had somebody that was wanting to talk to you, how can they get a hold of you? What's the best, what's the best way to reach out? They can call me anytime they want. Okay. Call me, text me, doesn't matter. Don't email me, call me, more personable. Yeah. Videotape it and send it. I don't care. Videotape it. Yeah. Hit the bat signal. Throw it <laughs> yeah. out there. Find me yeah. on live TV, local TV. We'll find you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. And, and for you, and same whatever's thing. more convenient uh, for anybody. Thank you. Call, text, or I am an email specialist. No, if whatever's comfortable. If they want to email me, that's fine. Because I also understand that I'm curious and I'm interested, but I may not want to reach out. So shoot an email and say, I'm curious. Put it up in the remarks and I will reach back out to you. And confidentiality to me. Utmost of importance to everybody. Perfect. Paul. Hey, thank, thank you. you so appreciate much. Appreciate Brian. Thank, thank you. I appreciate you. Great job today. <laughs> thank you. Um, hey, for more information, Shane Penley here with OutSuite Marketing and uh, text or call. Thank you.